Happy New Year and welcome to the Commission's Corner Week 17 edition. As you can see, I'm already in a celebration mood here. One of our 12 teams is going to be in a big time celebration mood after this week. Want to find out who that team's going to be? Want to know who made the best transactions and the worst transactions in our league this year? Stay tuned. We're going to give you all that and some more. First we'll go to the Consolation Bracket Championship, aka the Championship of the Losers. Myself, Queen Black Acid, emerging from the depths of the number 12 seed, going against Battle Beast, the number 10 seed. For my team, I've got a couple of guys who are really going to be fighting hard to make the playoffs. Peyton Manning fighting to keep the Colts in, and Richard Mendenhall and the Steelers fighting for a first round bye. In the Sunday night game, I actually think I'm going to get some solid support from both Mike Williams and Denario Alexander as their teams battle to win the NFC West. Battle Beast, I think Joe Webb is going to put up big points from the flex position against the Lions. Reggie Wayne should be getting lots of looks from Manning. Call me crazy, but I actually like Carson Palmer more this week in fantasy than Roethlisberger because they're probably going to be thrown all day against the Ravens. I do think Hakeem Nicks being out with the toe injury will hurt you. I think this is going to be a close one, but I'm liking my team here, getting some redemption for my 12th place regular season finish. Next up in the third place game, we have City Name Sport Team against Bone Dragon. City Name, your Patriots did a lot to get you here, but now they have secured number one and people could be resting this week. I think you're probably going to want to sub in Percy Harvin for one of them. Do you think a couple guys on your team are still going to be strong though? Breeze is obvious as the Saints could still win the number one overall seed. Brandon Marshall's finishing out pretty strong, so I think he could put up some big numbers against the resting Patriots D. Bone Dragon, I like like Ahmad Bradshaw and Mario Manningham this week as the Giants try to fight to make the playoffs. I like the Falcons D against the Panthers. They're going to be playing hard so they can lock in the number one seed. Sub somebody else in for Brady. Um, don't know if you wanted to be Brian Hoyer. I don't think Brady's going to be doing much beyond the first half. So with several resters in this matchup, I see it being a low scoring affair with City Name Sport Team coming out on top. What you've all been waiting for, the league championship. The brothers Fletch going head to head. One more time! Hey, you keep drinking that Fletcher Kool-Aid. I will. Fletcher Kool-Aid. Fletcher Kool-Aid. Fletcher Kool-Aid. I will. Product of baby effing against LG's punch flavor blunt. Product, at this point, just keep doing what you've been doing all season. Calvin Johnson's going to be good for you as long as his ankle holds up, which I think it will. Adrian Peterson is set to run wild against the Lions. Arian Foster's probably going to do the same thing against the Jags. Steelers defense could have a nice fantasy outing against the Browns. Only change I would suggest, get Steve Breston out of your lineup, please. Ben Watson's a better option for you there at the flex. For LG, really tough for you, man. Several of the players you got you here are likely not going to play or see very little action this week. Vic is almost certainly sitting this week, and McCoy is probably not going to see too much time either now that the Eagles have locked in the number three seed. Moreno and Andre Johnson are hurt, but there are some things I still like. I think Mike Wallace could have a big outing as the Steelers try to fight for that first round bye. Brandon Lloyd is always going to get the green light from me, although I bet you weren't thinking that you'd be starting Tim Tebow in the fantasy championship, were you? LG Blunt, again, should be a good play, and I like the Packers defense as the Bears probably aren't going to be having much to play for here. So after a fantastic fantasy season, I think it may actually end up being that Tuesday night game that comes back to haunt LG's punch flavor blunt. Joe Webb and the Vikings taking out the Eagles. It made him get the number three spot. It made Vic probably not go this week. It made LaShawn McCoy probably not go this week. Completely changes your team. I think that's going to be the difference maker and product the baby effing is going to win the championship. One more time.